I am Anil Kumar and here is a practice question from the test paper Unit 1 Functions. Describe two similarities and two differences between the functions y equals to x and y equals to x times x plus 1 times x minus 1. Let us first sketch these two functions, right? So, so let me sketch them separately and then we'll write differences and similarities between the two. Okay, so here we are. So the first one is y equals to x, which is a straight line diagonally across. It divides our plane into two equal halves. Right? The second one is a cubic function which has three zeros. Zero at zero because of x x plus 1 will give us 0 at minus 1 and x minus 1 will give us 0 at plus 1. Now those of you who do not know how to draw this, they should make a table of values, right? Of course these zeros are critical and once you have a table of values then you can sketch your function and it will kind of look like this. Right? So that is how you are going to get your function, right? So this is x and this is y for both, right? x and y. Now once you have the graph, it is kind of simpler to write down similarities and differences between these two functions, right? So the f let's write similarities first and then the differences. Okay, now can you tell me what are the similarities and what are the differences? This is y equals to x and this is y equals to x times x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now as far as the similarities go, you can see both these functions pass through origin. They have no restriction in domain, they are continuous functions. So we can write domain is x belongs to real numbers for both of them. So that is the similarity. Another good similarity between the two is that both are odd functions. Right? So these are similarities between them. Odd means they are symmetric about origin. Point of orientation is there. So they have a rotational symmetry around origin. Right? So that is odd functions. You can always algebraically find out f of minus x will be equal to minus of fx for both these functions. Got it? Another similarity is end behavior. So let me just add here end behavior. So end behavior really means as x approaches minus infinity, y approaches minus infinity, and for the other one, as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches positive infinity, right? So as x approaches minus infinity, y approaches minus infinity for both of them, correct? As x approaches positive infinity to the right, y approaches extreme infinity upwards, positive infinity. So that is how they are. And of course they move from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1, right? So these are some similarities. Now, how about their differences? Let's figure out their differences. So what are their differences? Yeah. I hope you got some of them. Yeah, there are many. And of course, one, as we see from here, that f of x has no turning point, right? So we have, I should say, first function, x linear function has no turning point, right? No turning point. Right? Whereas we have two turning points, but we have two turning points on cubic function, right? What else? What else? We can talk about zeros, right? So, so the x has one zero. And the cubic function has three zeros, right? Three zeros. So you could actually make a column and write x on one side and x times x plus 1 
times x minus 1 on the other side, right? So it's still not late for me. What I'm trying to say is I'd make a column like this to spell out the differences. You can write y equals to x here and y equals to x times x plus 1 times x minus 1 and list these differences one by one here, correct? So likewise, you can get a couple of differences between these two functions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.